Well, good morning, everybody. Jeff Slicky here on Daybreak. And once again, I got a great guest in studio, Scotty Mills from Keller Williams. Good morning, sir. Hey, good morning, Jeff. How good are you? See. Good. Hang on. Happy holidays. How you doing after that Thanksgiving? Oh, yeah. I think the airbag went off. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of full there, but it was great. This yeah. was the first yeah. year that I had um, most of my extended family come down to the house. And it just brings forth kind of the ho the start of the holidays, kicking off the holiday spirit. And this is kind of one of the themes you wanted to talk about. When a house... And I have a great memory of my wife and I looking around at houses. Mm -hmm. But then at what point does that house that we ended up buying become a home? Yeah. And what does that do to us, to the economy, to the nation? Home ownership really has a lot of benefits that, that folks may not tangibly see or may not truly understand. We're going to talk about some of these today. Yeah, absolutely. Because you're right. You start out with that search of the house. And I approach it as not only we're selling you a house, but that house is gonna become a home. It's gonna become a lifestyle. It's a place you're gonna make memories. You're gonna have kids that grow up and maybe some people move every five years and some stay in that house generations. Uh -huh. So it is definitely a place that you get your own personal touches to it and make it your own. If you wanna remodel walls and decorate and run out to pier one and, and make it a Make it your place. And that's one of the fun things I remember uh, imagining what the place would look like eventually and going to find some things. And you have an interesting stat here. Mm -hmm. Every home purchase, $60,000 goes into the economy. Yes. Yeah. It's a uh, home ownership essentially provides not only, you know, stability for for folks and stuff like that and the kids and the family, but the, the economy has yeah. a big impact. You think about washer and dryer, you know, your refrigerator, your appliances, your furniture, and with every home home sold, you know, over time, they just figure it just pumps that much money into your local economy. Isn't that something? That is pretty cool. Uh, homeowners, you say too here, happier, healthier in the long term. Uh, they just have this the stress of I don't know the stress of the unknown. You, you, there is a sense of, I guess, home. You know that you have a place. You know that at the end of the day, you're going to go home to a nice, warm home that you've helped put together. Yeah, you can even call it a sanctuary sometimes. Yeah, you know, some guys have their man cave, you know, thing. Or you, this time of the year, you know, Terry and I are getting out the decorations and starting to transition from fall and Thanksgiving and put those away and start doing your. Your Christmas stuff. For sure. And then in the spring, we like, you know, St. Patrick's Day and all throughout the year. And then there's that time that fresh cut grass smell uh -huh. and those things, throwing the ball with the kids. You bring up the holidays and actually you have a thing for us and we're going to have some stuff, some of these at the station to give away, but you're going to be out in the community with the holiday songbook, the Keller Williams South Sound Realty Holiday Song. Tell me a little bit about the idea behind this, where we can get it, what's in it. Oh, I'm excited about that because that is something that I did several years ago in another community. And so Phil Harlan, Associates, I, Don, Jolene, say, let's put this Christmas book together, some classics. Yeah. And Shelton is known as a Christmas town. Oh, yeah. But no matter where you live, we'll be happy to get those to you. And it's got a bunch of Christmas songs in there that you can go caroling with your neighbors or if you're sitting around your, your home and want to sing some songs and uh, start some traditions there. It's a really great little keepsake, too. This is a nice you know, thing, and I'm sure that uh, as well as you're looking through here, you find a song you want to sing, and then maybe out driving about in the around in a neighborhood, mm -hmm. listening to holiday music on the radio or something, singing some songs, and then you come across a place. Yeah, and I use that as my platform. I'll be out and about in the community playing my guitar and doing a little caroling. Mm -hmm. um, I won't crash into any of these businesses unwanted, of course. But, <laughs> Make sure you call everybody. But, uh, this, right? Yeah. I'll get out there and, and have some fun with that. Yeah. But they can certainly, through the contact information that you'll provide, they yeah. get a hold of me. And then I'll get some down at the station there for you. This is a real fun that. thing. This yeah. is a fun thing for people to kind of get behind. Who doesn't love singing holiday music? Yeah. I was singing it just the other day. Yeah. Christmas uh, karaoke or something. Christmas <laughs> 67% of American households are owner-occupied. That's an amazing fact. Yeah. 
Yeah, home ownership in America, according to the National Association of Realtors, it's a big deal in our in our country. The home ownership and the dream of home ownership. Yeah, and what that does is it's a great platform for wealth building, as we maybe have talked about in previous shows. That uh, you know, over the over time, and you look at even the Seattle economy and where where those housing go. But even here locally, you get in and you get stewardship of your home. It's a great investment. Here's an interesting one. Most homeowners enjoy stable housing costs. I don't really think about this. It's been a while since I rented, but rent does typically go up year after year, whereas yeah. your mortgage is, is, for the most part, fixed. Yeah, yeah, you can put it pretty solid. I don't know what program you get into, but absolutely, you're kind of at, for lack of a better term, the mercy of the renter. You yeah. Know, if he decides that, hey, I'm going to put my rent up another three, $400 or whatever I want to do, and then again, you're... Again, some of these rental prices, you could own a home for that. For sure. You know, uh, my sister, unfortunately, she's going to rent an apartment up in Seattle area, and it's crazy up there. I have a, a family member close to me in the South Sound pays just about as much as I do on my mortgage that yeah. they do in their rent. It's surprising when I sit down with people. They, first, they have the mindset, well, I can't do this either. I'm too young. I don't make enough. But let's just sit down, we get out the paper, and we go through some of the obstacles. And they'll realize that, wow, I'm paying $1,400 a month rent. You're telling me I can get into a home for $1,100? Might need a little sweat equity into sure. it. Sure. But, yeah, you can start and get your own utilities, and you own it. Yeah. How do we get in touch with you to start that conversation to get people into their home? What's the phone numbers? Well, phone number for me is 253 mm -hmm. And then my email, scottymills.realtor at gmail.com. And my phone, you know, I, I'm not in the dark ages. You can text me too. A lot uh -huh. of people like doing that. But I certainly like to get together with people person to person and chat. And, and even if it's not about real estate and you want to talk about something else or the great restaurant we went to last weekend or something like that. <laughs> Some good tips. Yeah. Re re uh, realtors always have the good tips. They know where to go. They know the great restaurants and all things like that. Yeah. And what's going on in the community for stuff well make sure scotty you bring back some of those song books we'll have them here for you we'll put the links in the show notes so people can know how to get to them and uh lots of folks will be enjoying the holiday season and uh, one great way to do it is you know you always see those commercials where people buy people cars or whatever they got the bow on there why not put a bow on a house yeah right well yeah and then we got some great things now with the mortgages that I, I we don't have time but call me and i'll share those with you just got the email hit a few days ago okay well and we'll check back in yeah. with you again in in december scotty mills good to see you all right thanks jeff happy holidays